mass transit that was affordable. So it's a question of coming down to fuel, which to fuel an average 15-seater bus here today, there were 50,000 naira at the um, market price or at the price at the filling stations of, uh, of, of petrol. On the other hand, the cost of CNG is about three times less. It's about one third, if not uh, one quarter. That's so you can, what you can fill for 55,000 or so, you can now fill for around 15,000. So that's a huge savings that will help reduce or maintain a lead on transport costs. Right. So it's a very key initiative. And the thing about the CNG initiative, the Presidential Initiative on Compressed National Gas, is that it has taken time. We've all gone around and we have seen that these are not purchases of finished goods or finished products. It is assembly. So at the same time as helping uh, the, the um, inflationary effect, reducing the um, price of um, fair, well, at the end of the day, reducing transport costs to the average Nigerian. As well as that, it's also helping to grow the economy. So it's two critical um, um, aims are being achieved. And what is important is that I've come to see what is happening with the CNG initiative? Where are the buses, as Nigerians are asking? And I've come, I've seen for myself, I've driven them, I've tested them, and I've seen them being assembled. And of course, in, no, in the very near future, they'll begin to be rolled out, and the benefit will be uh, available to all Nigerians. Thank you. Next, next.